dear students welcome to dhs informatics in this session we are going to see how to handle your project viewer voice questions and how to prepare for the viewer voice your project viewer voice it will be suitable for computer science information science it department electronic and communication students be btech me mtech bca diploma students it will be suitable the most general thing whenever we are getting the project we were and uh, all of us become little bit nervous what question the guide external going to ask how to manage the things like that they will you will have the some issues first and foremost thing is you should be confident about your project you are confident with your project you can able to handle any questions in the viewer voice for that i am going to provide you one simple five tips for you so that you follow this five tips uh, easily you can able to complete your viewer voice successfully okay what are that first thing is scope of the project what is the scope of the project you are a cs student or ec student even mechanical student you are doing a project first thing the scope of the project i will compare project with the a house construction or building constructions in this thing what is going to happen in the things means you are going to construct a house means how many floors you are going to construct what are the facilities whether you are, we are going to construct two bedroom house or three bedroom house and you are going to construct with the swimming pool or with the centralized ac system like that no that is called the scope of the project so that what will define the scope of the project is there are three important things that we call it as a feasibility analysis what is the feasibility study means first one is a economical feasibility economical feasibility in the sense the time and the cost for example you are asking me to construct a one to five star hotel okay i am telling that okay i will construct a, you are asking a plan everything i am giving you or giving you in one week time so that you are telling that as the budget i am telling that it is a 5 crores you are telling me i am ready to give 50 crores but construct a within one week time that is not possible even though you are giving more money also within one week time i can't able to do that i also defend the scope of the project similarly you are telling that i am giving the quote for 10 crore rupees to construct a five star hotel but you are telling i am giving that a time limit one year you are telling take 10 year construct but uh, i will not able to give five crores i will give you only 5 lakhs construct that is also not possible so that the cost and the time is very very important in defining the scope of the project second thing technical feasibility uh, what is the technical feasibility for example 15 years before or 20 years before internet is the, not there that time also we will go uh, to the travels and uh, book the ticket from bangalore to chennai or chennai to bangalore they will they will in the computer only they feed and give the ticket to you but you are asking for the ticket from bangalore to chennai they will give in the bangalore office i am asking them give the return ticket from chennai to bangalore they will not provide they will ask you to go to chennai and book it there only because there is no centralized system that time so that this is called the technical feasibility something we want to achieve that uh, technology is not supporting for that our idea we can't able to do that is called technical feasibility and another thing is the uh, operational feasibility what is be the operational feasibility means uh, how So, what project you are developing? How it is going to be implemented with the customer or in the client place? How it is going to be implemented? Whether it is practically possible or not? That is called operational feasibility. For the um, academic project, operational feasibility is not uh, that much important, but economical feasibility and technical feasibility are very very important. Uh, so that 
you have to define before starting the project you are going to define what you are going to do okay so that i can't able to come to your home and asking you where is the centralized ac where is the swimming pool means it is not uh, correct no so that you are defining how much you are going to do because house means definitely kitchen will be there bedroom will be there bathroom will be there that is there you are building a house without the kitchen that is wrong but i can't able to come and question that why it is a small it is a big it is based on your time limit and your cost okay so that you should should not feel uh, any shy or guilt about your scope so that you are first time may, maybe i am come across majority of the students are doing first time uh, project work so that first time doing a project is a big deal okay in that we can't able to expect that the how big it will be there it like a phd work kind of thing they are expecting it is not correct you can define them i plan we planned for this much only we achieved this thing like that you can able to tell that is the first thing that is called the scope of the project second thing limitation of the project before going to the limitation of the project i am requesting you if you are not subscribed our channel dhs informatics channel please press the red button below this video and press the bell icon so that only you will get our next updates thank you limitation of the project <clears throat> here you can see that the diagram the limitation also depends upon time cost and scope only you are able to get the mobile phone for 5000 rupees also you will get the mobile phone and 1 lakh rupee also we are getting the mobile phone the 5000 rupees mobile phone the camera quality will be less only and 1 lakh mobile phone the camera quality will be good only but it will take the picture functionality will be same but the how the quality that will be depends upon the time and the cost we are spending the things okay so that in the technical limitation uh, we can able to tell the things how much GB you are manufacturing on mobile phone I can able to say that what is the size of the RAM based on the cost only it will depend no you are having a less cost we have to reduce the memory size you are giving a more cost we can able to increase the cost like that only and one more thing technical stability uh, one thing internet of things project you are doing iot project you are doing okay the technical limitation is without internet it will not work that is very very important it is like that you are uh, getting a uh, one petrol or diesel vehicle means petrol is mandatory they are asking the question without petrol how the vehicle will be go that is the same equivalent to without internet how your project will work in a iot project okay so that these are the technical limitation you should not feel uh, shy about those things you can say that yes without uh, uh, internet it will not work like that only similarly you can you can able to do some other project uh, cloud computing you are uploading the file into the internet cloud storage that time internet is needed okay uh, and one more thing they will ask you you are doing android project it will be working in android only they will ask the question whether it will be work on the uh, apple mobile it will not work because you are not uh, planned for that the scope will not come under the thing it is also called the technical limitation one thing you can understand in this world any product you are taking it will have the limitation without limitation you can't able to create any product even you are creating the apple iphone you are purchasing a apple iphone also you have to daily we have to charge it otherwise charge will not be there and it is also having the memory limitation like that functional limitation functional limitation means uh, for example banking project you are doing a real banking project means uh, nearly one uh, 50 members will be work for the banking project uh, one year then only they can able to complete uh, if for your uh, project you are uh, three members or four member for one or two months only you are going to develop the project means uh, the limitation will be less only functional limitation loan processing will not be there you will do the main thing account opening uh, fund transfer and deposit withdrawal like that only you can able to do know that is called functional limitation it is also again depends upon the scope only then assumption of the project you have to tell the idea behind it for example you are doing a one uh, password protection system uh, for a web based application window based application uh, we can't able to hack the password uh, unless otherwise we have to access the particular system then only we can able to access the uh, their uh, password we can hack their password uh, whereas a web based application i'm sitting in my computer only i can able to i know your mail id i can hack your facebook account i can hack your gmail account no so that i'm giving a one password uh, one password 
protection system I am giving. The assumption begins the thing. This will be useful. I am giving an idea of how, how to avoid the password hacking using image, graphical password or using OTP like that. You can able to tell this is a front end password authentication. You can able to fix this with the banking software or uh, any social media software also we can fix it. Uh, so attach it in front. Like that is the idea behind that. Feature enhancement. Sometimes your guides will give some genuine ideas also. You can do like this. Uh, within the time limit you can't able to do that will be become as a feature enhancement. Even you can see anybody is doing PhD work also. They will mention I, I tried this much. I got this result. Yeah, my followers can able to do the further things like that they can tell. So that you, if they are, they are going beyond that good ideas also you come across with your guide or externally you can tell them I can do, I can add it in a future enhancement. I may do MTech, that time I can do MTech say I will, I will enhance this for my PhD work like that you can able to tell. That is assumption of the project. These three things are important. I repeat scope of the project, limitation of the project, assumption of the project. These three things are you are very clear means you can easily handle any viva wash questions okay and one more thing uh, don't uh, for example i am talking anything uh, wrong about your native place you will not agree that correct no you will able to tell that uh, it is uh, my native it is not like that uh, you will able to tell i am taking uh, talking about something uh, wrong about some other city it is not related to you will, uh, you will accept the things no you should not do like that. Anything wrong your projects are about your project, your external or guides are telling, you have to tell them that clearly it is not wrong. We assumed like this only, we did it like that. You have to, don't aggressively argue with them, but you have to tell them, explain them what is the reason behind the thing. You should not accept whatever they, they're selling some flaw in your project. Don't accept as it is. Okay. You try to defend yourself. Then only it will be good. The fourth thing, it is very important how to speak in the viewer voice. That is understanding problem. Uh, understanding problem means uh, most of the students, they suddenly jump into their project. Before entering into the project, you have to talk about your the problem statement. Why you selected this project? Why, what is the benefit behind this project? You have to first clear the thing. Then only you have to enter into the functionality. So, um, I saw many students suddenly say, Sir, there are three actors in my project. Uh, uh, admin, cashier and the and the user. Like that they will enter. You should not uh, go into that. You have to talk about the problem statement and uh, why you selected this technology what is the motto behind the things and you have to tell and what you are conveying it will be go properly and reach to the guide okay by their facial expression only you can able to understand whether he is a uh, getting your uh, ideas or not. Uh, he is not getting your idea. You can repeat one or two times also. That is one, one very, very important. And one more thing is uh, you are four in a group or five in a group. You have to plan well in advance. Okay. Only one person cannot able to uh, explain all the things. Uh, you have to divide your task. Uh, I will explain this part. N member two will explain the second part. Uh, he will explain the conclusion. Like that you have to divide your task. Uh, and uh, while you are talking, you have to talk talk very slowly. There should be a space between or gap between the word, gap between the sentence. Slowly you have to talk. Uh, don't have the mindset like that. We have to complete the vivo as early as possible and come out of the chamber. You have the mindset like that. I will sit uh, any uh, whatever, one hour or two hour also. I will explain all your doubts sir, clearly. Like that confident you will show in your body language only. They will, they will keep quiet and they will able to listen to you. That is good. Then the fifth one, understand your guide or examiner. What is uh, understanding your guide and examiner means? Uh, whether some guides will uh, know the technology, they will ask the question, genuine questions. Some guides may not know the technology, but uh, for argument's sake, they will ask the question. So that understand your guide, don't go with the aggressive argument for any time. If uh, your guides are not aware of this technology, try to explain them as much as possible. In case they are not, uh, they, they, will, they will get the idea means, okay, if they are not getting also, don't argue. You can put your, your uh, side uh, all the concepts uh, and leave it uh, smoothly. Okay, don't argue with them. That is uh, very, very important. Uh, the useful questions will be there. Uh, already this project is done earlier. 
Uh, what is the new in your project? Uh, the answer is 100 years before also car is there. Now also car is there. Okay, what is the difference? The engine is different. Uh, that old car will go only 50 km uh, speed only. Now we are able to touch the 200 km speed. No. So that I am coming to the car showroom. You are your salesperson. You are showing me uh, two cars. Uh, one car is 7 lakh, one car is 70 lakhs. You are telling. You need the judgment. No, why this car is 70 lakhs? No. You are not uh, explain it properly. As a layman, I will not able to understand for to me both are same car only no you have to tell the functionality very clearly that is only i'm telling you understand your guide some guides already know machine learning he already know android he will he will ask the genuine question some guides will not aware of the machine learning you have to explain them what is the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning what is the new thing in your project and how much accuracy you are getting like that you have to explain them properly these are the concept these are the five tips i'm i'm giving you for to attend your View of wise questions. All the best. Confident is very very important. And uh, if you like this video, press the like button. You have any questions for me? Place your uh, questions in the comment. And uh, you are not subscribed. Subscribe this channel. Thank you. All the best once again.